The 60th annual <laughs> Dyna Marathon Weekend is nearly here and thousands of runners, walkers will join in downtown and at the Jacksonville beaches for something really, really special. It is a community that comes together for one thing to knock out breast cancer. So joining me this morning, we have Amanda Napolitano, Executive Director of the Donna Foundation and Robin Robson. What a great name. <laughs> a walker, <laughs> a breast cancer survivor, a two time breast cancer survivor. Yeah and knocking out breast cancer. That's going to be the team walking. How big is your team? What does it feel like when you guys oh, get out our there? Our team and is the over 60. Woo! Yeah. yeah. That's and good. Um, yeah, I think actually we have 71 signed up, but I don't know. You know, are they round. your people? Are they all your people? All our people oh, yeah. from <laughs> Nocatee. Oh, I love it. You know, I, you see your shirt. You know, yes. Just talking about so you, you will see us all in these shirts. Okay. And you've beat breast cancer twice. Right. And you're going to be out there walking with your friends and your family. What does it feel like? Because I, I really feel like this is a community of people who come out every single year. It, the energy is amazing. It you know, is. You have folks who are running, folks who are walking, folks who will crawl across that finish line, but they're going to make right. it happen. What does it mean when you see that? Oh, it just really touch, touches my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm um, really glad to be around the Donna Foundation and what they do and um, have all my friends there. And um, yeah, yeah, it's very touching. <laughs> Look, touches you, my heart. <laughs> I like to share behind the scenes. So during the commercial, she's like, are they going to have my words on the prompter? <laughs> I was like, no, they are not because it's all coming from here. That I know, heart, it is. Experience. It's coming from my heart. Yeah, I mean, when you hear that, the, Everybody has a story who's yes. walking out there. If, if they aren't a, a, a survivor or fighting it, it's a family yeah. who's out there just supporting. So, I mean, this, and when you talk about the money raised from this, I mean, yes. this is more than just a community event. Absolutely. I mean, you know, all of this fuels the important programs of the Donna Foundation, one of which is a celebration of survivorship, of giving, you know, families like you a chance to come out and celebrate life. Yes. right and to lift one another up in love and to choose love over fear mm -hmm. but what we're also doing is fueling the programs to help families who are having a hard time making its ends meet when they're diagnosed with their breast cancer when they're choosing putting food on the table and getting the treatment that they need. So we lift those families and provide financial support for those families. And then so that we can eradicate breast cancer once and for all, we're also fueling programs for research. Yeah. So very important whys when we come out and race to finish mm -hmm. breast cancer this weekend. It's gonna be beautiful. I mean, it's amazing yes. to see how it grows. I mean, this is one run. We have several runs in town mm -hmm. um, that are just bigger and bigger. You know, people come from all over the country, yep. um, but it's it's super successful. I'm so pleased this year to see us rebound from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in 2021, we were all virtual. No one came to Jacksonville right. to run with us, right. right? And then last year, we were ramping back up um, with, with Omicron and being very careful about how, you know, we orchestrated the event, but this year, People are coming back. We are partnering with destination marathons to bring travel packages in. Mm -hmm. um, all of our Olympians will be here. Joan Benoit Samuelson is on a plane right now to Jacksonville, oh, Jeff Galloway. Wow. So um, the marathon on Sunday is sold out. Yeah, oh, that's yes. yeah. that's unusual too. I mean, yes. you know, 26.2 yeah. miles and it's a sellout. That's a commitment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Yeah. Oh so, my gosh, and very so exciting. your team, one of one of many that will be out there, but you right. guys raised 10,000 bucks. We did. Wow. So um, last year, my um, partner, Carrie Luke Garden, couldn't be here today, but um, her and I, in 2021 decided to have a team. And so we named our team, okay. got t-shirts, we got sponsors, we created a committee and we created all these fundraising activities. So we did ra raffles, we did local eateries. You, you start begging for money early. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. We had, they uh, see there's part of our team. Oh, we, um, uh, we had a big pink wine tasting party okay. at our local uh, coastal wine market, thanks to Steve and uh, Steve and Sean, Lori. You have the, it, it's a team. It's, it's a team. Yeah, that all works together right. for the good. It's going to be crazy too. I mean, I have to admit, we used to live out in that way. Uh -huh. And woo, the traffic. I mean, you all, it's organized. You know, there are shuttles that get people there, but it, yeah. you know, it's something that everybody kind of respects mm -hmm. and you make your plans for that day based on what's going to happen in the streets. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, part oh, of the right. reason people come here from all over the world and part of the reason why we have this partnership with Destination Marathons is that our community has made this a destination yeah. event no doubt. because of what they do in their yards. Yeah, I right? know. Right? I mean, it's it fun. is 
fun. So amazing to run 26.2 miles to a standing ovation. Yeah. Oh, which is yeah. Right. What you're, you're doing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I wish you luck as you okay. run or walk or whatever yes. you choose to do, and then also keep on surviving. We're going to have a tent out. there. Yeah. So okay. Be sure to have everyone come by. All right. Oh, all right. There you go. You got yeah. a personal invite. Yes. All right. So again, <laughs> um, February 3rd through the 5th. It's a whole weekend of events. Of course, the marathon, the big one on Sunday. Um, downtown Jack's Beach where you see the people give them a wave and a little encouragement as they make their way through the streets at the beaches.